Chris Meek. Flat left opens, 80. Big line, five left Titans. Hog, keep very in, watch. Hug, keep very in, watch. Reminders to the Northern Irishman to take care in stage 12, but he didn't. His C3 lost all its grip and into the trees he rolled. Flat to six left over crest. The bruising could be heard in the car. The speed was easy to see from the helicopter. A fan filmed a very dangerous broadside exit. But the safety features built into these cars had saved Chris and Paul once again. Tamo Suninen, likewise under instructions from M Sport. Get there fast, but get there. An important step for the young Finn. This, his very first WRC podium. I reckon if you could look in the back of that car, there'd be a tyre, or there'd be a wheel with a tyre which looks not so bad. Oh, here he goes again. Listen to it, listen. Struggling to get it stopped with so little braking on the front with his car being so far down at the back. Uh, I think he's kept the one that wasn't so bad at the end of stage number seven. The legal one. The legal one to take him back to service. Because if he tries to drive back to service on that, the FIA will just stop him immediately. Echoes of the past. But for Seb Ogier, not the recent past. Our 2017 winner struggled to make an impact. A clean jump second time through the stage, but his championship lead had taken a battery. Everyone that is, bar one man, this man, Thierry Nerville, who despite his obvious desire to take care at the end, seemed to hang in the air forever. The Hyundai landed without breakages. The driver so elated. Well, he's probably still up there now. Nerville's first Portuguese win and Hyundai's first Portuguese vintage. Chris Meek. Flat left opens, 80. Big line, five left Titans. Hog, keep very in, watch. Hug, keep very in, watch. Reminders to the Northern Irishman to take care in stage 12, but he didn't. 